Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at Carlson coin and not just mining it, but also mining it dual mining. So we're going to be adding another coin in there. So we all know that Casper coin when FPGAs came on the network, Casper coins profitability kind of dipped a little bit. And that's when people started dual mining it with coins. So this video is kind of for future reference. And for now, obviously, if you want to dual mine and get some more profitability from your mining. So with Carlson coin, you can dual mine it with pretty much any algorithm using SRB miner. However, as we'll look in a minute, there are certain algorithms which do way better on SRB miner or on the K heavy hash V1 algorithm, which is run on Carlson coin. I just want to show a little update here as well. Regal miner just listed for Carlson coin. So you can also use Regal miner. I don't believe it's dual mining yet, but there definitely will be dual mining modes i guess on regal miner in the future but for now today we're going to be using srb multi miner so this is the newest release and this obviously has some minor improvements for carlson hash uh, the previous release was when they actually implemented carlson hash so after you've downloaded it you have your simple batch files here now these batch files are actually going to give us a good idea of which ones or which coins are going to be the best for dual mining because SRB miner already optimized a bunch of algorithms for Casper coin and because Carlson hash is basically the same hash and algorithm I'm assuming that the implementation or the optimization was kind of the same for Carlson hash that it was as Casper. So right here they listed Ergo and Casper so I believe that that was very good. They also had Ethereum Classic and Casper coin and the reason that you'd want to use like Ergo or Ethereum Classic is because they're more memory intensive algorithms. Well, at least Ethereum Classic is. I'm not really sure about Ergo, but Ergo is the power draw. It's just very low, so you can dual mine it with pretty much any coin. Ergo works really well. Ethereum Classic works well with all these newer proof of work coins because with these new ones, they're all run off the core. And with Ethereum or ETHash algorithms, they're run off the memory of a GPU. So this is why you would want to use these over just mixing them because you basically use the GPU to its fullest extent and the hash rate drop isn't as harsh for dual mining. So when we're looking at coins to mine, obviously you've got Ethereum Classic, which, you know, you wouldn't really want to actually mine that. You've got Ethereum Pow, you've got Octaspace, and I think it would work well with Ethereum as well because half of that is the ETHash algorithm, but you're still using the core for the Blake 3 part of it. So there are some options out there that you can use. I'd say stick to Ethereum or ETHash coins. Maybe Ergo might work well, but mostly stuff that isn't going to clash with the core intensive algorithm of Carlson hash slash K heavy hash. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. So in SRB miner, you basically want to go for any of these dual algorithms. Now, now personally, I'd just start off on the start mining Carlson one because then we can actually have the Carlson address already set up. So if we click edit here, it's going to show the algorithm Carlson hash, the pool and the wallet here. So the pool is going to be blanked out and the wallet's also going to be blanked out, but you need to input your own wallet address there. I believe this is just one that I got off the internet or it might be the preset one within there. Then from here, once you have that open, you basically want to open up any of the dual mining coins that you basically want to mine. So if you wanted to do Ethereum Classic, let's say, or if you wanted to do Ergo, I would just simply open up one of these. Now it will work the same for if you want to add a different coin in like Alephium, which I'll show you in a little bit. However, with Ethereum Classic, if we just take out all this and we take out the pause, you can see here, disable CPU algorithm ETHash. So this is the one that we're gonna be as our first algorithm. If you want to have Carlson as your first algorithm, then you can use Carlson as the first algorithm. However, right here, we can see that we've also got Alephium mining as well. So this is a dual algorithm mining. All you have to do simply is just put the two algorithms. So for example, this algorithm is Blake 3 Alephium. We could just get rid of this and then we go back to our Carlson hash one and we basically copy the algorithm here. So everything past algorithm, we copy that, go back into this dual mining and paste it there. So that's basically how you do it. After you've exited out of that, you can set overclocks. Now, personally, I'd put the Carlson hash at the start. So if we have Carlson hash as the algorithm, I would have that at the start because normally 
the algorithm is going to pick one coin to mine over the other and we kind of want to optimize for Carlson hash so when it comes to overclocking as well we want the overclocks to apply to Carlson hash so if you don't know it's basically the same as Casper so whatever overclocks you had for Casper just chuck them on instead so there we have it basically you input your pool you input your wallet and it's gonna basically exit out if we save it here obviously you want to put your etc wallet or whichever coin you're mining with we click save and then we can just double click to start mining so you can mix and match with anyone as we can see up here we have a carlson slash alf and i'll actually show you some video of that so it's disable cpu first algorithm is carlson hash and then if we scroll across we have our second algorithm which is alethium and there's our wallet there so we haven't put any overclocks in if you do want to overclock if we scroll back to srb and we click on parameters at the top here it's going to show you uh, what to actually input for overclock so i believe it would be so gpu oc parameters so you can do the core clock the mem clock the clock offset the memory clock offset power limit fan all of that so you want to just separate them with a comma if you have more than one gpu as i said remember we're going to overclock for casper coin so there are actual overclocks here somewhere which are for carlson coin as you can see if we click on benchmarks, you can find the overclocks. If you click on any of these cards, let's just go for the 3080. There's going to be some overclocks on the side here. One for LOL Miner, one for Regal Miner. So you could just basically copy that and do it for SRB Miner. So remember, overclock for the first algorithm or the Carlson Hash algorithm. And the next one is just on top of that. I'll show some footage right now of us mining or dual mining a lithium with Carlson coin. I don't really think that the profitability is too good for those two algorithms. I definitely think an ETH hash algorithm would I definitely think an ETH hash algorithm would be better. Now you could do three, you could also add Zill in there, obviously, if you wanted to. But let's bring it back to the calculator. I believe we were getting 0 0.422 giga hash, and where's Carlson coin? We were getting around 700, I think, or sorry, that video was recorded. Uh, previous to actually mining so a profitability right now of sorry i haven't put in the watts i think we're at 220 watts and the profitability right now is 36 you could have way more profitability if you just took out a lithium so a lithium obviously doesn't work very well because they're running both on the core so you want to actually run something that runs on memory as i said we have a few coins there we could go with ethereum classic we could also go with Zill as a third coin on top of it. Ergo is always good to go with any Casper algorithm. That's been one of the go-to dual algorithms is anything with Ergo. Ethereum power is there. Uh, power blocks. I'm going to scroll down keep seeing if we have any ETHash. So there's Okta, which is really good as well. that You can add in there. BitNet money. I believe that that went really high the other day. As I said, Ethereum as well. That's good to add in. Uh, this connect some coin and i'm pretty sure that's it in terms of eth hash so there's ethereum fair let's keep going down and see if we can find any more egas so that was that coin that had good profitability but it was actually e t i which was on a different algorithm so don't put this one in with it either just making sure to tell you guys uh, i don't think there's any more that we can look at but for the most part there's castillo which i don't know why you'd want to dual mine that but for the most part, you can actually just overclock and mix and match until you find the best one. I'm sure Hashrate NO will come out with some updates soon to show you profitabilities of dual mineable with Carlson coin because people will start doing it soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and you got to start mining dual Carlson and any other coin. It's a pretty simple setup. All you do in SRB miner is just add another algorithm, whichever coin you want, put your wallet address in, put the pool in, and then you could overclock basically for Carlson. If you want to overclock for the other coin, then you'd mainly be focusing on overclocking the memory because you'd be using an ETHash algorithm. So make sure you guys just tinker around a little bit. As I said, overclocks are on hash rate. I know I'll leave it linked in the description and I'll leave SRB minor linked in the description as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this.